We'd like to thank Caroline Lucas for this amazing quote that she gave us. It's wonderful to receive this sort of encouragement and support, particularly as Caroline is such a well-known parliamentary figure. There's also more encouraging news that we would like to share with you in that Save the Harland Beagles and its substantial and growing following is now acknowledged by other parliamentary figures. And as such, on Wednesday, we've been invited to attend a meeting at Westminster with Nick Dakin, the chair of the All-Party Committee for Replacement of Animals in Medical Experiments. In our discussion, we'll bid for an immediate closure of Harlan and an escalated abandonment of all vivisection. Importantly, we're going to make it clear that whilst we are anti-vivisection, we are not anti-science, something which was assumed in the past by the establishment. We are pro-animal welfare and we are pro-modern science. In the 21st century, the argument for stopping animal experiments is now pro-science and humane. Every day, more scientists speak out against using animal experiments for medical research. It doesn't work, and crucially, they admit it is delaying modern medical breakthroughs. On Wednesday, when we meet with the MP at Westminster, we are going to take this message. And this is your message, because our supporters and the thousands of those who have signed our petition which now uh, totals 42,000. Without your support, meetings like this in Parliament would not be possible because governments only listen when large numbers of the national community voice their call for change. So we thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for your dedication and commitment because together we will bring about this change.